You all right, Julia? Yes, fine. I'm just perfectly fine. Dear Avis, we finished packing today, and tomorrow we leave beloved Paris for Marseille. Paul has been appointed Cultural Affairs Commissioner for the south of France. I'm having a hard time pretending to be anything but devastated. I'm going to go buy some bread. The advantage of Marseille is that it won't have the distractions of Paris. So we'll be able to finish the book, although not on deadline. At least we're still in France. Dear Avis, I don't know what we've done to deserve it, but here we are in Germany, actually in a suburb of Bonn called Plettersdorf on the Rhine, which sounds much more picturesque than it is. By the way, there is no chance we'll meet our new deadline. We'll be at least two more years. Meanwhile, Paul has been called to Washington. We have no idea why. Well, they're going to promote you, finally. They have to. Well, I don't know why they have to call me back to Washington to tell mm -hmm. me that. They could just send a telex. Mm -hmm. It'd be a lot cheaper. <laughs> well, they're going to reassign you, then. They'll ask you whether you prefer Paris or Paris. <laughs> <laughs> it's a possibility. It's not likely, but it is a possibility. And if they are moving us back to Paris, I can look for an apartment when I'm there next week. Good idea, yes? Mm -hmm. I promise I'll call you the minute they tell me we're being transferred back to Paris. <laughs> All right? <laughs> All right. I know. Darling. I think it I could know. happen. It could happen, I know. Stay right uh, there. That's perfect. Say Move cheese, Ducky. Good. Put your legs together, Good. darling. It's very simple. We're just going to tell her she should have a smaller share of the royalties because it is clear she can't put in the 40 hours a week you and I are spending. 60 is more like it. Exactly. 80. You and I are vache enragée. That's exactly what we are, <laughs> mad cows. Mm. But I can't bring myself to say this to Louisette. You're going to have to do it. I will do it. We must be cold-blooded. I shall love her much more when this is settled. No, <laughs> it isn't that you're not helping to some extent. But I am helping. It was my idea to add bees to the cocoa vin recipe. We know, and that was a wonderful idea. But the book has become a magnum opus. But we are a team. We are Les Trois Gourmandes. One for all. Yes, it's absolutely true, Louisette. Yes, it's true. And you have been very valuable to the project. Thank you. But... <laughs> but... I am getting a divorce. What? Jean-Luc is leaving me. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, Louisette. Just forget, forget it, that I even mentioned it. But it isn't fair for Louisette to get the same amount of money that we do. This is not the time to discuss this. She's getting into divorce. She doesn't do the work. You don't do the work, so your share should be 10%. 10%. You're not doing the work. 25. 15, 20, 18, and not a penny more. And where it says our names, I think it should say, by Julia Child and Simone Beck, with Louisette Bertold. With? And in smaller type. No, 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 Simca. Our name's exactly the same. Exactly the same, and alphabetical. Oh, alphabetical. But it was not even our idea to put the bees in the cocoa bar. <laughs> oh, a telegram, madame. For me? Dear Avis, we've been through our own version of Kafka. Oh? Paul went off to Washington. Well, and in me. my innocence, I thought it must be because the United States government had finally realized how no. valuable he was. Far from it. He was being investigated. 
He spent three days being grilled in a windowless room with a foot-high stack of papers ominously sitting on the table. They asked him about our friends, our books, our China years, our patriotism. They even asked him if he was a homosexual. Are you a homosexual, Mr. Child? No. I'm not a homosexual. This is not a joke. I'm well aware of that. He came home exonerated, but thoroughly bruised. Well, oh, Juliet was a nightmare. What am I going to do? I feel like my entire life has been a waste. Oh. Oh. I have one more posting, then I'll retire, and then what? We'll figure it out. I just don't know what it was all for. You know? You at least have the book. It's your book, too. It is. Without you, it wouldn't be a book. Not that Simkin I'll ever be done with it. Someday you'll be done with it. Mm, I'm beginning to wonder.